hey guys so welcome to another video uh, today we'll be looking at cpu under vaulting and that we will be doing with this application called throttle stop now so basically what is throttle stop throttle stop is an application temperatures increase performance and boost battery life so you lower temperatures by a process called undervolting and this is specifically for cpu undervolting so basically in undervolting you reduce the voltage to your cpu and thereby uh, reducing temperatures so if you want a significant uh, if you want if you need a significant power uh, temperature drop or to reduce the temperatures if for example your laptop or desktop is overheating then throttle stop will help so we do that by a process called under vaulting which is basically reducing the voltage to your cpu and therefore less power usage so uh, what happens usually when you're gaming or you're using some kind of cpu intensive application if it reaches its maximum temperature uh, or this value called the pro shot uh, in this case then the cpu will will underclock it will reduce its performance to protect itself but that has an effect because then you shall get less fr frame rates so so to avoid reaching its its uh, threshold throttling threshold we use throttle stop to avoid it reaching let's say in this case with my cpu 92 degrees celsius or more and when it reaches that temperature you will see significant loss in fps when you when you're in your games or other applications so there's a significant drop in performance so we need to address that if that's the case so you download it from this website tech power up this is the url you can just google it but i'll have the link in the description you download it and start it up initially when you start it up this is what shows up i have already installed it so i don't want to do this you just say okay all right and then it starts up as of now it's total stop 9.5 so basically this is how it looks like when you start it up you can now choose a power plan high performance balance or power saver as per your preference but uh, i've just chosen balanced so there is there is balanced uh, you know it, 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 instead of high performance it might increase temperatures in 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 laptops so there are a lot of uh, features etc it's uh, if you're new to throttle stop it's quite overwhelming but uh, you just need to focus on a few things so that's why I'm, I'm going to make it easier for you by just highlighting what you need to change and what you need to do to achieve a good undervolt so here uh, there is speed shift EPP CPUs uh, basically you need to operate between 
values of 0 to 255 you can see here mine is at 665 currently so 0 means the CPU will prefer its maximum frequency so for example in this case 2.6 gigahertz is the base frequency of this CPU the core i7 9750H and 250 a value of 255 means the system will prefer running at the highest maximum frequency so zero uh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry zero means the cpu will prefer its maximum frequency zero 255 means the system will prefer running at the lowest base clock so if you want more performance zero least performance 255 okay so you, you simply check it and you can change the values 55 or 0 i prefer it at 65 then you need to save the values okay uh then this just leave it the the, the way it is make sure it's checked speed step cie uh, will not go through so many of these bd pro short make sure it's checked now you can if you disable the turbo the, the cpu will be running at its base clock that is in this case 2.6 gigahertz if you uncheck it then it can boost to its ma maximum frequency in this case it's uh 4.5 gigahertz so so you disable that usually you will disable the turbo if you are just doing light tasks uh, say browsing uh your word excel of office applications etc so that it doesn't overclock uh, uh, turbo boost to its max frequency and then thereby use uh, you know increasing the temperature and the and the fan noise also so we also want to uh, reduce fan noises with the, uh, with throttle stop so so when you're gaming for example uh, if you disable the turbo then you will reduce the performance quite significantly but you will lower temperatures quite significantly i usually enable the turbo by unchecking and then saving and then running the the uh, game then we come to this uh, area here this sh just shows the temperature the maximum temperature that the cpu has reached so far and see it's a 42 because i'm uh, obvious i'm i usually i'm if on idle i'm at 35 36 that up 35 to 38 degrees celsius the limits shows uh, what uh, what what limits have been uh, say breached or uh, uh, achieved. Um, then we come to fiber. Okay, uh, so when you click on fiber, here is where you do the undervolting and reduction or increase of freq the cpu's frequency so let's start by uh, uh and sorry first of all uh there are profiles there is high performance profile there is a balance profile uh and uh internet and and battery I'm usually on this profile okay so then let's continue with fiber uh, so here we choose the frequency of the CPU you see this is a six core CPU it can turbo boost each core can turbo boost to 4.5 uh, 4.5 gigahertz 
this is 32 meaning it's 3.2 gigahertz up to 4.5 gigahertz now here i have placed this at 3.2 gigahertz now some of you may say okay but isn't that significantly reducing the performance i have found that um, yes it is uh, reducing the performance but this to me is the sweet spot for this particular cpu the i9 i7 uh, sorry i7 9750h so as per your requirement you need to see which 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 frequency is suitable at this frequency for most games i get over 60 fps 60 to 80 fps so that's i'm happy with this but you can change it as much as you want uh, and, and and even mix it up but all my cores at the moment are at 3.2 gigahertz okay okay so that that actually um uh, influences your temperature temperatures cpu's temperatures now we come to the undervolting itself so in undervolting you have to look at the cpu core and cpu cache so you the cpu core is uh, is uh, selected so this is this is not selected in the in the beginning when you run uh, throttle stop so you need to check it so that it will now you can unlock the voltages so here as you can see you can unlock now the voltage you you make sure it's an adaptive voltage and the offset is 146.5 the set should and the cpu cache should be should be the same 146 now you if you can you should start with a low value and see uh, whether it works or not because what happens if you start a game and the voltage the the under volt is too low let's say for example i reached 160 it will go into a blue screen of death a b sod okay so uh, it, but it won't affect your machine just uh, don't worry it will not this will not affect your hardware it will just re restart it will go into a uh, blue uh, a b sort blue screen of death and restart the, the laptop so it's important to know uh, what you're getting into <coughs> as i as i said it it will be sort if you if the undervolt is is too low so this would what would be happen if you are in mid game and the undervolt is uh, doesn't work properly or it's too i mean it's too low this is what you'd uh, run into so it uh, be sort with this stop code watchdog timeout so in that case you need to then increase the the voltage again by another 10 let's say 10 uh, millivolts so as to so as to now then, then and uh, sorry you need to increase the the voltage in the millivolts and then try again and make sure you every time you apply the changes 
So here, as I said, CPU core and CPU cache must be the same. So I have seen, and after uh, so many bezels uh, later, that uh, uh, negative 146 for this particular CPU, yours may, your silicon may vary. Your CPU may, of course, be different. So you need to see what works for you. You start off with, let's say, 80 minus 80 then 120 until you get a B sort, then uh, increase the millivolts until you get a stable voltage where there is no B sort at all. I know this is uh, a little bit uh, concerning, but uh, just stick to it and make sure you get a good uh, undervolt. Okay. And I usually, okay, apart from that, I usually uncheck thermal velocity boost. The rest is all checked. And make sure you check, okay, save voltages immediately. So now here, because the, the, the turbo is disabled, it's still, it's still on its, uh, on its base frequency so once you uncheck this it can then you see it will change its frequency to turbo boost to a, a, a higher frequency as you can see now sorry apart from that it also shows you the the temperatures for the CPU and the GPU you can see you can also set all these options here in the, in the options menu start minimized you can the CPU color here it's green and uh, uh, blue for the CPU and green for the GPU you can name the profiles performance game internet uh, battery and then which profile is on ac meaning on power plugged in and battery so fourth profile and second profile for the for for ac performance is when uh, probably when you need uh, that much performance the full performance when you are benchmarking for example Now here the, a new uh, feature is Windows Defender Boost. You need to click this and the logs specify where the log folder is so that you can know what exactly happened and, and diagnose if there is an issue. Okay, so now this will hopefully reduce your temperatures significantly. Uh, and uh, it will it will hopefully uh, give you better frame rates because because you see less power less voltage means your your there is there is less temperature and less power draw and that will uh, definitely improve your fr frame rates. So, once you have got your base, your, your correct voltage, uh, your under, uh, correct underclock, undervolt, sorry, then you need to uh, set up st automatic startup. By default, there is no option in throttle stop to automatically stand up, start up when Windows starts. So for that, you need to use task scheduler. So you just uh, look for task scheduler and then open it. Okay, I've already created my throttle stop to start up automatically when I when the when this PC uh, boots to Windows. So 
in task scheduler you create a basic task call it throttle stop or ts whichever put a description if you wish then you click on when the computer starts or when i log on start a program browse then browse to where throttle stop is uh, usually it's best to install it in uh, in the c drive in your in your c drive so this is where i have it is uh, in c drive click on that open next then you finish i'm just going to delete this as we can't have two running so you see action start a program conditions okay so now this will ensure it starts automatically when when window starts So now let's let us see what what happens when there is no undervolt and what's the effect when there is an undervolt okay So here that temperatures initially. And at, it's still at 3190, almost 32, 3.2 gigahertz. So quickly, these are the settings. See the temperature already reaching now over 60. Until it's medium. 1920 by 10 GP. Some are on medium. So at the moment, this is it. Which is already hiking up at to 78. Temperatures already hiking up at 82 degrees Celsius. The frame rate is good, over 60. Not so good. Um, well, not so good, but not so bad. But the temperatures terrible. You can see. Let me give it a while and then so after a few minutes of gameplay 
you can see the temperature reaching 92 degrees Celsius it's not good so here's gameplay of Assassin's Creed origins here you can see the CPU temperature is now at 74-75 degrees Celsius at the same 3.2 gigahertz and GPU is at 74 so as you can see temperatures have dropped from 90 degrees Seventy four degrees Celsius with a frame rate of over seventy FPS, which is great. That's a huge drop in temperature. Although the fans are ramping up, but that 90 degrees, it's not reaching it. So, if uh, you liked uh, the video, please give a thumbs up. And I hope you have uh, learned something. Uh, please uh, comment and sub consider please please consider subscribing hope uh, this video has been useful till next time thank you for watching